Hey online sellers, Jordan Malik uh, talking about my Clear Pro plugin, another video of the Clear Pro, uh, Clear Pro Chrome extension plugin um, for your viewing. So uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, head over to jordanmalik.com slash clear pro, all lowercase, and uh, you'll get all the instructions on how to download it, etc. So let's talk about uh, this item. I like to look for niche items. You know, so many people say, oh, Jordan, that's, all, all you cover is toys when you're talking about online arbitrage and buying low on sites to sell high. It's not true. Um, I do dabble in other products. It, to me, it's, it's just a barcode. To me, it's just money. Uh, and that's what I try to teach people is, you know, don't ha you don't need to have an affinity for a certain type of product. But here's a tool. Um, I try to find products that I think are priced on Amazon unexceptionally high. Excuse me, exceptionally high. Here's a tape measure. This is a Black & Decker power tape measure. You actually push a button and the tape measure is pushed out. And it's good if you're like a one solo operation uh, uh, that needs to do a lot of tape uh, measuring, etc. And this is this product is no longer, this specific, uh, specific model is no longer in production to my knowledge. It's not. So um, the interesting thing is it's uh, battery powered and it's uh, sales rank is about 160,000. You can't really read that. 160,000 at home improvement. Um, people that start out on online arbitrage balk at that. They say, well, I demand that all products be in the top 10,000 or whatever. Um, 160,000 in home improvement is actually in the top 1.7% of all home improvement products. Um, and how do I how do I calculate that? Let me show you real quick. If we head over to uh, Amazon.com, and I'll show you how do how do I calculate sales rank and uh, sales rank top percentage. And this is just a gut check to let me know that it, you know I, if something is going to be a laggard or if it's going to sell right away. If you if you select the section that you're looking at the product in, so mine is home improvement, right? And when you select tools and home improvement, right? And then you type your open bracket and closed bracket keys. These are right around your enter key on your keyboard. And you hit enter. That searches everything. It doesn't search for everything, but it will show the results for um, your specific category. And we'll look here and we'll see it'll say 1 to 24 out of 9 million. So there's 9 million results in tools and home improvement. And the reason why I think this is still a viable product is that it's ranked 160,000 out of 9 million. That puts it right around, I think, 1.7, 1.8%, the top 1.7 or 1.8%. So this is not a laggard product. With online arbitrage, you're not going to be buying stuff that you're, you're buying and then you know selling hundreds or thousands of units. It doesn't work like that anymore. This is a nice niche product. I think I've actually sourced this before and sold it, but I wanted to show you this as an example. You'll see the price is unusually high if you think about it for a minute. Gee, you know, non-FBA seller, somebody who's shipping this from home or their warehouse, merchant fulfilled, in other words, is charging almost $80 for this. And I look at that and I see, gee, that's unusual, but, you know, there might be a segment, a small niche customer segment that has a uh, kind of a cult following of this or that they... Um, they lo they lost or broke theirs, and they need a replacement. And they swear by it. They have to have this. Think of all the contractors out there that ha fall in love with a specific tool. So you'll see, just like the last example with my Clear Pro plugin installed, I get these buttons here. As I scroll down around to the product information, these are the buttons: Camel, Keepa, Shopping, Google Shopping, eBay listings, eBay completed listings, and eBay listings. When you select Open All, you can select any one of these. When you select Open All, it'll open up all the tabs to the right. So now you start to see, here's the completed listings on eBay, okay? Now, um, don't see the exact model yet. Here it is. Here's the exact same model sold for $20 new, right? Automate 25-foot power tape measure new in packaging. Sold for $18.55, right? Sells on Amazon for $80, okay? Perfect product to buy online and resell, okay? And just as a gut check, here's another one that sold for $26.50, uh, don't give up on used, okay? When an item is uh, in tools and home improvement or any, uh, most, not a lot of categories, excuse me, let me rephrase that. A lot of categories let you sell used products. You could sell this product used, okay? So just because it's going for selling, selling for $80 brand new, maybe you can find it used and pay, you know, five, 10, 15 and sell it for 35, 40. This is, if you do a lot of yard sales, I'd be looking for this product all the time at yard sales. So you'll see used one selling too, okay? 
remember this this rounded model is different i'm looking at the square model right eighteen dollars here it is again for 26. okay so lots of profit potential in this that's the completed listings on ebay let's look at the live listings on ebay okay, here's a used one that's selling for 14.99 uh, let's see, brand new one that's selling for 138. Uh, used uh, brand new one that's having auctions at 26 dollars. Used 299. Uh, that looks about it, but still lots of potential. And this is something that you should be. You find a product like this, you should always be checking in with eBay or using a like if this then that. Uh, Ifttt.com, I think it is. If this then that to alert you to when every time this product pops up on eBay for you to buy. Now let's keep looking and this is the Google Shopping results, right? Again, I've got that because it's one of the buttons on this page of the product, right? Using the Chrome, the free Chrome, uh, excuse me, free Clear Pro plugin. The Google Shopping button is here and that is showing the results here, Google Shopping. Okay, I see a different model here. I don't see the square one. Uh, here is shopping.com, which is similar to Google. You'll see that it starts, uh, it's giving me a lot of products that, based on the title of the Amazon product here, it's giving me a lot of different products. So I may want to just keep Black & Decker ATM 100, right, and just do a search for that. Uh, just abbreviating those search results. Looks like there's nothing here, huh? Okay. Uh, let's go to Camel, Camel, Camel. You can see the sales history of that item. The sales rank history and the price you can see in the past couple years it's been selling for uh you know fifty dollars and up roughly uh I, I guess it's gone up and down for third party new let's click on use we can get an idea what it's selling for used recently sorry about that that was my dog barking um it distracted me so uh, so we go over to Keepa, the Keepa tab that automatically opens. That's also got uh, sales rank history, price history, etc. Um, so that's the example of the Black & Decker. So you, you're going to find a lot of products on Amazon. Uh, and having this Clear Pro plugin tool just kind of minimizes the amount of work. If you want to do research to find out where else this product exists, you can buy low to sell high. So head back over to jordanmalik.com slash clearpro. There'll be more videos there for you.